it's not smoke. Whatever. <laughs> Hi there. So, okay, I came here to tell you about some kind of first steps in IT and what you can find there. Um, let's go. Please make an <laughs> next slide. Thank you. So, uh, to give you understand, uh, I'm another just a guy who, another one who talking about like IT without understanding what is it. I'm in IT about uh, five years and I'm a senior software engineer in the company iTechArt. You can see the merch on me. So, uh, and I was a dev tutor in the past. So, uh, we have an Amanda Academy in there. Uh, we made it together with the uh, one guy. <laughs> so, um, what I'm going to tell you about the first steps in IT and uh, what I want to tell you is about which kind of professions we have in there. What you can do, who you can be, and uh, what you need to focus on to have your first job in there. Next one. Thank you. So the main IT directions in there, we have the Q quality assurance, the QA, who testing uh, the programs, the testing everything, and the by manual and by automatizing, automatizing tests in there. So um, they are not the quiet developers, but they understand how the developing stuff works, to test it and uh, to see the cases which to need to be tested. Uh, we have the developers, me. As you see. So, uh, who making the web development, who making the mobile, I don't know, programs, desktop programs, uh, and the blockchain also. I'm working in the blockchain, creating like cryptocurrencies. Yeah, everybody heard about the cryptocurrencies, the Bitcoin, NFTs. Nobody understands what is it, but whatever. NFT is a very nice thing, I tell you. Um, we, we have, no, 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 thank you. Uh, we, <laughs> we have an management stuff in there who are working like in a product owners, product management, project management, uh, and HR, the human resource management. Uh, the first two are uh, controlling the development process, controlling developers like me who do not want to do anything, but we need to make a project as well. <laughs> so they're controlling us and giving us some kind of kicks to work on. Uh, product owners, the main difference from the product management, there's the product owners are moving business forward. And if you think that you want to promote business to uh, find the new features for the business to make the business better, so you can be the product owner. If you want to control people as well, you can be in the product management. And uh, human resource managers, they're just defining people uh, and uh, giving them offers for the job and controlling the working with the people as well, human resource. And also we have on the design, UI, UX. This is uh, the design of your uh, mo applications, maybe mobile, web applications. Every time when you're going to Instagram, every time when you're going somewhere, you see the nice design. You're not at main, uh, paying attention on it in case of uh, the designer work. Uh, it's not so, um, I don't know, you do not see a lot of stuff in there. This is very, very, very slightly going into your mind. But if the design is bad, you're going to see that. You're paying, uh, paying attention on it. And the graphic design, they're just making log logotypes. They're making uh, some kind of illustrations, working with the motion and other things. So which kind are you going to choose? I will going to tell you how to enroll to some kind of profession or the IT uh, on the example of the developer. Oh, you think. Uh, and so, what you have to know to become, for example, like a dev, yeah? Like a developer. I know somebody of you wanted to be a developer. So, uh, of course, to begin, you have to uh, find out which language you want to learn, why, this is the main aim, why. And after that, learn it, of course. Uh, the main thing to understand why and which language you need to learn, this is the for which language you will be paid faster. In case of like, you may uh, learn C++, but uh, finding the first job will take you about uh, three years, maybe, I don't know. But if you're going to learn some Python or PHP, you're going to find job more, the faster than the same kind of. Um, and of course, the main thing, uh, the much developers and the much, much people forgetting about, like, you no need to be just a skilled developer because only for that, nobody will care about it. You need to sell yourself and 
In that case, you need to have the good soft skills. As I wrote here, do your best to sell your smile, not only your skill. You need to sell yourself. You need to show yourself. You need to, uh, even if you not have enough technical skills, you can sell yourself just by your smile. Ooh. <laughs> And, uh, of course, experience to do some stuff. If you find out, like, I want to be a web developer, you have to do some kind of sites, some kind of systems in web. If you want to be, become a mobile developer, you need to try to make the mobile applications just by yourself. It counts. Even if you are a QA engineer, even if you are a manager, you have to have some kind of experience to show that you, um, I don't know, that you're enough skilled and experienced to get this job. And, of course, try start as early as you can in the real projects. In case of the real commercial experience counts more than the just experience that you have at home. Please, next one. Could you? <laughs> Thank you. Soft skills. <laughs> what I'm going to tell you about the soft skills. Uh, the main soft skills what you have is uh, your communication skills. You have to talk with the people. You have to increase your network. Talk with the people, tell you about everything what you have. Like, if you no, you're coming to the, some kind of um, event where the only developers and the managers are staying, show your development skills by your speech. Just tell, talk with them. Maybe you're going to learn something from them. Maybe you're going to do something uh, for the, uh, the stuff. And it would be nice. In case you, if you're going to show yourself, maybe you're going to find some kind of work. They'll find you like, oh, this man knows something. I'm going to get him. Uh, second skill, it's a very, very important skill. It's uh, um, not only just to communicate in a simple life, but communicate in a job life. Like when a working process, when you're working, you need to work in team. Find out how to work in team. Doesn't matter who you are. If you're leading the team, if you're the, just a part of the team, if you're the manager who controlling the team, or the just, I don't know, the simple developer or QA, you have to know to understand how to conversate with the people, how to connect with them, how to work with them, how to find out how to reach the aim together. This is the main thing. Because much of people, much developers are introverts. I'm understanding them. So, but they have to, if they want to, getting more like in salary, in experience, and to reach the bigger aims, they have to work in a team. Because only the team can reach something bigger. This next one. So, which language to choose? As I said before, uh, we have a plot of some kind of language, as you see on the screen. I hope you see the screen. C, Java. It's very popular now, uh, the Python and PHP. Maybe, like, if you are becoming a developer or maybe QA engineer, we have to find out what to learn. And first, advice to you, look at the market. Which language, which system are required? If you will find out that JavaScript is more requiring now in Uzbekistan than C++, so why do you need to learn the C++? Do not learn that, because you will never pay it out for it. It's very difficult. And nobody will pay for this, even if you are, uh, I don't know, blazingly cool in the C++. Find out which will be paid. Yes. And of course, uh, this is a question about the simplest. The simpler language here is the Python, JavaScript, and a PHP, maybe. So start with something simple. Also in the QA engineering, maybe in the management, maybe in the graphic design, when you're starting not from uh, Something difficult like a Figma or some in design, or something difficult in a Q engineering like uh, special programs like Insomnia. You're starting from the scratch, from understanding. Here also, if you wanted to be as an uh, additional thing for the web languages, as you see about the market, the web pipe. If you want to become the web developer, like for example, you're gonna find out which is more important and PHP have the, about 60% the of the market. So maybe you're going to learn this. Maybe not, but whatever. 
Also, as I said, for QA engineers, just search into the market. And about the soft skills, about networking, which and where you can find the same kind of networking. Some, when you, where you can show yourself, where you can find the good people, good HRs, when the HRs can find you. And this is a one interesting network system, social media, link it in. Not only for the developers, but also for the queue engineers, product management, for uh, tutors, for lawyers even, for doctors, everybody. This is a professional social media. Make the account in there. Now, do not waste the time. Make the account, write everything by yourself. And maybe some interesting HR from Google. One time we'll see you. Maybe from my company, I take art. Maybe from Twitter. Maybe from something smaller. But they will find you in case of algorithms. And they will know who you are. Because I found a job in there. And this is a very important question. Where you need to put yourself? LinkedIn? Maybe Headhunter? This is my advice. Show yourself every time to the world. Only in case of showing yourself, you can find the first job in IT. And of course, this is a question about your skills. That's, a, that's all. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.